Get that bear! <laughs> Fort Haven. What is this place? Hello there. What, what indeed? Glarth here? <laughs> Total nutcase if you ask me, but he's never done anything yet that we could arrest him for. Oh, you're the law, are you? A haven. A haven, they call it. <laughs> That's a good one, fellas. Goodbye. Let us uh, head up to the Shaved Leaf Cops. Ten Nurn Root is not that much to ask for. And if it can truly be made into an ultimate Dungeon Delver's Brew, Brandar might, uh... Might prosper. I think that's just a pig. <sighs> We've been in many dungeons, friends. In Morrowind. Here in Cyrodiil. And, uh... Oh, there's an urn root there. I'm sure we shall do some exploring wherever we shall go, so this will be a, a worthy investment. Oh, is this another... Another foul spirit? I need this. I have eight. Eight of them now. Did I find them all? Aha! Nine! One more! Where should I find one more? Is it out on the water? I should hope not. Hmm. I don't think a plant could grow underwater. That makes no sense. Maybe we could get to the center. Ah! Well, we are here now. I suppose that is a... Uh... Oh, wow! Richard! Ah! They were mean to me, Richard. We do need one more. One more Nern Root. Unfortunately, uh, I only see the three. Is there a fourth one? Could it be? Or perhaps we should just keep an eye out in our ventures. It wouldn't be so hard to go back to Cinderion, I suppose. Yes, let us uh, travel north. Coral is on the way. Bruma. And then I think we should be almost into Skyrim. The Nordic Neverin is on his way. Don't worry, friends. Brandar shall rescue the Nordic people. Ha ha! Nobody knew that it was coming. They weren't even sure that they wanted to be rescued. <laughs> ah. But as I've said, the Imperials making quite a stirring. As they tend to do. But I can best them. I've taken down many opponents now. Packs of wolves. Brindleholm. Hold on, Richard. I shall be back. Hmm, Torbald the Sufficient. Well, hopefully he can share some of his sufficiency with me. Hello? Hmm. Fire's going, but nobody is here. Guide to Coral. Hmm. Castle Coral is the county seat of County Coral. It's ruled by Countess Arena Valga, the very proper woman and mother of the beautiful and virtuous Alessia Caro, Countess of Leowin. Ah, yes. Districts of Coral. Five main districts. Fountain Gate. Hmm. Chapel of Stendar. Yes, this is quite a good guide. I must borrow this. Just in case I get a, a bit lost, as has been known to happen. But Brandar is stubborn, friends. I'm sure you've noticed this as well. 
Oh, small house. We're on the other side now. I've lost my horse now. Richard! Richard! Where are you, Richard? Richard! Oh, I see him over there. Hiding. Hello, cutie. Oh, I do love him so. Good boy, Richard, yes. He's such a nice boy. Hello to you. What do you do out here, huh? Your lucky day, so let's hear it. You're Torball! I borrowed your book, sorry. Go ahead, please. Well, I was hoping to hear some rumors. I'm not saying Colovians are dumb. They're just hard-headed. <laughs> well, that's quite a rumor. Bye. Goodbye. And here you've got a nice little stable. My goodness. You're all set up out here in the woods, hmm? Don't need any help from Brandar. I do see a cave just over this way. Hmm. Perhaps I should like to go uh, clear some goblins. I hear them. Yes. Fighting a boar. <laughs> That's adorable. Pardon me, sir. Ah! And done. You want some piggy? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Not sure what sort of animal I just rescued, but uh, you're welcome. I just knew that I wanted to clear some goblins, and the lords blessed me. Hmm. Stinky. Quite a stinky place. Why would you live in such a stinky place? I must have some uh, life detection. Though it is not as strong as I would like. How about you? And he's done. Ooh, this is a big one. Hello, big boy. One more? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which way are you going? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Down. That's the way you're going. Ah, ogres. The goblins and the ogres making friends, hmm? Teaming up against your old friend, Brandar. No matter. It makes no difference to me. Oof. As long as I can get the jump. I don't really want them to see me before I see them. Oh. But my bow and arrow sing a song of death quite quickly. These ogres don't have much time to react. Hmm. Underground. We find ourselves underground once more, friends. Perhaps I should make a, a bit of Falmer blood magic. Hmm. Now, I don't have it on very good authority that they did such things, but I think it's a safe assumption. All the way over there, buddy. And... Poo. Quite good. We're getting much better with this bow, friends. I was worried for a little while that my uh, full abilities would not come back to me. But it seems they have, in leaps and bounds. Oh, hello there. Hoo. Some more, some more. Oh, that was a good one. Come along. Yes. Easily done. Perhaps there's a, a bigger ogre. Could there be an ogre king under the grounds? I'm unsure. I don't know as much about the uh, ogre culture as I do about Falmer culture. 
simply because they don't keep a written record, as you might imagine. Look at his face. He's such a big ugly fellow. Okay, I can't see his face anymore. I feel much better now. <laughs> ah, and I am running low on my arrows. I'll need to uh, use lesser ones quite soon, which is not good because we head deeper into the caverns. Surely stronger enemies await. Oh. I hear the heavy breathing. Ah. But heavying my pockets makes me feel a bit better about it. Uh oh. Okay, we got caught. We got caught. I admit it. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah. Ah! It's interesting to me that they can craft things to hang on their belt, shoes and whatnot, but they still have no written records of anything. How does a society exist without written records? It does not seem to me that they even have a form of language to call their own. But I could be wrong. Those guttural grunts, grunts probably do mean at least something. Even if I can't discern what it is. Hmm. Are we back to the start now? Apparently so. Well, I should call that that. We're running a bit low on arrows. And I shouldn't want to push my luck too far. A nice little adventure. A little diversion, you know. I rather enjoy exploring these caves, and perhaps I will find that last piece of Nern root that I need. It seems they were not hiding too well until the point that I started looking for them. Oh my. Bears. A bit tougher than I would like, I think. Oh, and now they are fighting something. Oh! The mama and the babies! They fight! Why do you fight? Ah. Uh, Randar must break this one up. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. This shall settle your coral. Oh, they are fighting wolves. Many wolves. The babies want to stay out of the fight. Oh. Uh oh. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Ah! Ah! Yeah, that's a bear, okay? That's a bear. We gotta go. Richard, run! Run, Richard! <laughs> we must run! <laughs> oh, now I'm going south again. Okay, loop it around. Just a little bit. A little bit at a time. That was a very bad choice. Get in a fight with the bear. Although, I bet there are many wolf felts just sitting over there for the taking now. The bears will probably eat the meat, but the pelts they will leave for a savvy hunter. Unfortunately, I am not savvy enough. I've doomed myself, it seems, friends. And there's another bear just there. Do the bears fight each other? That bear looks different than you. Please fight him. Oh, and there's another house. Some more pigs. Oh, I can't see my my <laughs> that far behind me. Uh, I just assume everything's going fine. I hear it. I hear it back there. Run, Richard! Run! We must get away! Ah! I'm so glad he did not break his legs on that fall. It did sound to me like the bear took some damage. 
Oh no. Oh no. This bear is so angry. I didn't even shoot your cubs. Maybe I should have. When dear. It doesn't sound good, friends. A horrible serial noise behind me. Crunching through the wilderness. Oh, and there's another wolf. Would you fight the wolf? Would you do this favor for me? It sounds like he's getting closer. Oh, he's right back there. Ugh. Oh. What a foul creature. I do nothing to you. Except the one time that I did, but... Can't we just forgive and forget? Richard doesn't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you. It's an honest mistake, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Can't you be more amicable about this? No matter. Oh god, he's right back there! Just don't let them get us. Look, there's a deer over there. <laughs> Although the deer did not shoot you with an arrow, so... I understand, in a way. Need to pick up these wolves. Yes, attack that bear. Get that bear! I must find a place with a watchtower and some guards. Hello, guard! <laughs> oh. Ah! This guard is going to take care of some of the problems. But the bear is still lurking. Help me! Help me, guard! We are almost to Coral now. But I still have this bear right behind me. Oh, we've got another guard to help. Help me with the bear! I can get the wolves! Help me with the bear! <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, okay. Wonderful. What a fucking monster that guy was, huh? I thank you for the help, my friend. Quite kind. Uh, well, we've made it to Coral, friends. At least halfway towards Skyrim. It is certainly getting a bit colder. But nothing that my fur can't weather. You see, hey. another pun. Hey! What, what are, are you, you doing? No, you! Tell me about Coral. Coral's got plenty to eat and good thick walls, and that suits me fine. I don't know what's going on out there in the woods, and I don't need to. That's some fine social commentary, yes. <laughs> I know many people like that. Orgnoff Hairy Legs, Fire and Steel. Hmm. I should like to buy some arrows, but uh, we will have to wait until the morning. I'm unfamiliar with this town, so finding a place to bed down might be a, a bit of a struggle. I'm sure they have a mages guild somewhere. Oh, Francois' house. My goodness. Any time now. Ah, here. The mages. And perhaps now I should find some spells to uh, make some use of. Oh, look at all of these. My goodness. Hello to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Athragard of the Mages Guild. How can I serve you? Well, I was hoping we could uh, barter with some Let's spells. Oh, yes. Look at all of this you have, hmm? Quite impressive. 
My intelligence is not high enough for most of this summoning, but uh, quite impressive nonetheless. I thank you for showing me your wares. You too. Mm, indeed. I didn't show him any wares, but that's fine. I get it. What is it, associate? Do you need something? Well, you're standing quite in the doorway, are you not? Thank you so much. Goodbye. We could just move a little bit, okay? Hmm. Surely there is some other spells to learn here, hmm? I become so disappointed. The Mages Guild is not uh, the, the lavish magic thing that I thought it would be. But no matter, friends. You find, you find the levity where you can. And it is the same way that I am about life, you know? Ah, here are some more fellows. I am Alberic Litter of the Mages Guild. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. And quite nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, just uh, making the rounds. Me. My name is Angalmo. Can I help you? Well, you said excuse me. Do you know where I could find some nerd Good root? luck with your field work for Cinderian. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm, so friendly. These mages all seem to know uh, a bit about each other. Which makes sense. They read it in the newsletter, from what I can guess. Oh, Galerion the Mystic. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. I should like to read that. But I must leave it there for now. And find a bed. A little bed for Brandar to lay down. I am a bit weary. I've been on horseback for nearing two days. Ah, what is this? Flowers? Dwemer history and culture. We did talk about that briefly. If you should like some more, maybe let me know, friends. And I shall regale you just a bit more. Origin of the Mages Guild. Hmm, that should be some good reading for when we wake up as well. So, friends, I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, goodbye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.